Hey guys, Avi here and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're continuing our weather dashboard with Flask project. And today we're gonna go ahead and tie in the Flask front end and the API calling together to render the results of the actual weather data once the zip code is passed in. So the current flow looks like this. I have a zip code, I enter, I hit submit, and I can get that zip code in the results page. And now all we have left to do is call the API with the zip code and render those results for the user to see. So let's go ahead and do that right now. First thing first, we want to go ahead and start making use of the functions we wrote in the earlier lecture, get weather results. So once we have the zip code and our zip code is getting from the form zip code over here, I'm going to go ahead and say my data. So the actual request response should be get weather results, passing in my zip code and then also my API key. So above this API key, should be equal to get API key over here. And I can pass that in just like that. And we know already that this data is going to be in a JSON like format. Okay. Let's understand what weather we're actually getting back from this API. I have that link opened up here again, one more time, the API to openweathermap.org API call where we're passing in a zip code and our API key. And let's scroll down and see what we kind of want to take away from this. This is the JSON object that's being returned back to us. And here immediately I see a couple things. I want to get the kind of main weather of what's going on. Is it clear, cloudy, rainy, etc.? I also want to get the temperature and this temperature right now is in Kelvin. So in our API call, if we specify the metric of our choosing, then we can actually get the data to be in the kind of degrees that we want it to be. So in this case, if I go ahead and type and metric is equal to, and then Imperial, I'll go ahead and get this result in, whoops, still Kelvin. I believe the template was units, sorry. So here, if I go ahead and specify my units to be Imperial, I'll go ahead and get the weather to be in Fahrenheit. And if I go ahead and specify my units in the API call to be, um, I believe metric, then I should be able to get my results in Celsius. So based on your preference, I want you to go ahead and modify the API call right now to facilitate that request. Here I have zip is equal to, and then we're formatting the zip and then type and, and we're going to go ahead and say over here, units is equal to, in my case, since I'm in the United States, Imperial. And again, if you're in a different country around the world and you use Celsius, make sure to change this to metric. But anyways, we've updated the API and here I'm noticing that we want the main weather. We want the temperature, um, probably the feels like, and maybe the name of the actual location of the zip code we just entered. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start getting those values from the API data. So let's go back to PyCharm. And inside of this, once we have our data, I'm going to start creating variables. I have my temperature should be equal to data main and then temp. And what does this follow? So going back over here, I see that we have this kind of main category, this main dictionary. And inside of the main dictionary, I have this key temperature, which is relevant to a float like value of my Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius temperature. And so I want to convert all these values into strings. And so I'm going to go ahead and format this value as a string. And I'm going to go ahead and say over here, format it as a float with two decimal places only. And this is the syntax to do that. And if I go ahead and say dot format and pass in my data inside of this, I will now have my temperature as a string that's formatted as such. Next, I want to go ahead and get the feels like data. So what does the temperature actually feel like? That can be feels like is equal to, and then data main, and then feels like. So again, we're essentially just parsing this JSON structure that we've got it. And same thing over here, I'm going to format it just like that. Fantastic. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get the actual weather description. We can see that it lies in key weather and then key main. So I'm going to say weather is equal to data weather, I think, and then main over here like that. And then last but not least, I want to get the location. Like we're passing in the zip code, but where did the user actually reside? So here I'm going to say location should be equal to data name. So what we've done is we've taken our API call, we're calling it with a zip code that the user passes in, 
and while we're parsing the response for key values that we want to render to the user. So we have all these variables and now we need to put this in an HTML template and we can pass these variables in a new template that we can create right now. So go ahead in your templates folder, create a new HTML file. And for now, I'm going to call this results.html. Feel free to call this whatever you want. And I think PyCharm auto completed this file and made some basic index code. Feel free to copy this if you'd like. But honestly, we need four main things inside of this results page. I want to go ahead and render inside of a div tag, the four key components that we just created. So an H3 for the weather in my city name. And again, to specify for now, we're going to use Jinja two code syntax to pass in a future variable. So weather in location will be replaced by weather in, and then the variable value for location that we pass into this template. Similarly, I'm going to create an H2 tag and say, what is my temperature? Well, that temperature will be temperature. And then I want to get the degree symbol. So a quick search for that, honestly, I like to do is just degrees symbol and then go ahead and copy that. So let's find some text that has it, uh, which is going to be that right there. And then put this right there and put in Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new H3 and pass in. What is it feel like? I guess like the weather. So is it cloudy, rainy, etc. And then last but not least, what does it feel like right now? And that will be an H4 tag. And so feels like, and in this case, we're passing in the feels like variable and we're going to use the Fahrenheit since that's the metric or unit that I'm using. And so what we've done is we've created this template that's using Jinja two variables, location, temp, weather, and feel like to generate this view for the user. The last thing we have to do for this video is pass these variables into our template. So going back to app.py, just like we rendered our template over here, we're going to say return render template. Whoops, render template. We are going to render results.html and then comma, we're going to pass in values that associate with the variable names we mentioned in Jinja 2. So for example, over here, we're saying weather in location. We can go ahead and set that location variable to be equal to the location variable we have inside of the function. So location is equal to location, temp is equal to temp, feels like is equal to feels like, and last but not least over here, we have weather is equal to weather. So all we're doing is we're creating this association between the Jinja two variables that we have mentioned inside of the template. And last but not least, or ultimately the variables that we've created inside of the function that have parsed the API data. And now we're simply just adding these in to the template. So that's it. That's all we have to do. I'm going to go ahead and remove this return code. And now let's test this out. So save this, run your app.py again. Let's open up this URL. Here's my weather dashboard in Flask. I'm going to go ahead and put in my zip code, hit submit, and we get an error. So let's go ahead and see what's up. I'm going to scroll down and it says get API key is not defined. Oh, I see what's up. I need to move these functions above my if name equals main because right now it's not hitting those functions. So now if I go ahead and save, rerun the function code, go to dashboard, hit 95129, hit submit, I get another error. And it says list indices must be integers or slices, not string. So what mistake did I make? If I go back to my JSON data over here, I can see that the weather data is actually an array of different values. It's not a dictionary key value pairs like I originally thought. So let's go ahead and update the modification for that and specify over here that the weather, so here data weather, actually we want the very first value inside of this array, which is a dictionary object and then get the main value. So again, this is all about debugging and learning through building. Here, I made a mistake in understanding what my JSON format was when the API data was returned. And now if I go ahead and rerun this, we'll go ahead and see a successful project. So location zip code, 95129, hit submit, and there we go. Weather in San Jose, here is my actual Fahrenheit degrees. This is the weather main description, and this is what it actually feels like. Fantastic job, guys. You have just built out a very bare bones, but functional weather dashboard in Flask, and this is something to be proud of. In the next video, we'll go ahead and beautify this page and make it look more pretty, 
But honestly, this is great and you can show this off to your friends and family and show off the amazing work you just put in. Thanks so much for listening and I will see you in the next video.